My name is Denise, and I will be doing my persuasive speech on health. I will discuss the ways in which health helps benefit us mentally and physically. I will discuss excuses people make as to far as in why they can't maintain their healthy status in which they should. I will also discuss five simple ways in which to keep your body moving to be consistent as to staying healthy. First and foremost, people make excuses of not maintaining health simply because they're too busy. Some people feel as though they can't put it into their schedule that they already have as far as in squeezing in workout times here and there or rearranging their lunches to take to work and making them in the morning or in the evening so they can have them for work the next day. They also don't know where to start. They don't know what to do to get started to start that healthy diet or the healthy exercise that they need. They don't have the motivation. They don't have that push that they need to help encourage them to be consistent in their workout or in their diet. And you have also some people who feel as though they will injure themselves in the exercises that they include in their workout. According to Laura Hemet, good health now can help benefit you by giving the body what it needs to grow new cells, tissues, cleanse itself of toxins, and perform the tasks that it needs to perform to help the body produce what it can. With good nutrition, people have more energy and they are more alert and can be their best each and every day. Ms. Heatman also stated, being healthy now can go to prevent diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, stroke, osteoporosis, and some cancers, even reducing cancer deaths to up to 35%. According to Ms. Carly Skuna, physical benefits is being healthy. People who exercise regularly, they tend to have a low occurrence of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, osteoporosis, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. People who exercise more often, they also have more energy. They have higher energy levels than those who do not exercise at all or it's not as often. People who exercise regularly, they often sleep better than others. And they improve the immune system functions by having a healthy nutrition in your diet. Ms. Schoon also stated mental benefits that can help, that comes along with being healthy, include um, mindful eating practices can help reduce adult stress in their lives, such as um, doing walking and participating in yoga can do mild physical activities that help with that as well. Participating in walking and yoga can help calm the mind to a state of just relaxing and that reduces the stress as well. And lastly, um, Miss, according to Paige Wainer, she stated four, five, four to five ways the body can keep moving to help maintain that healthy status. One can be to turn off the TV. Um, you can turn off the TV for an hour or so. Instead of watching TV, you can interact with your family, play games, and have a conversation with them. You can walk more as far as in walking to the mailbox. Instead of just going to the mailbox, you can take a trip or walk down the street or around the block. Um, you can do chores around the house as far as in sweeping the floor, raking the leaves, and working in the garden. That can also help as well. Um, you can pace yourself while you're on the phone having a conversation. As far as in have a conversation with your relative or a friend, that can be instead of sitting on a couch or in a chair, you can walk and pace back and forth. That will also keep the body moving. And lastly is to be aware. Um, while you're at work, instead of using the elevator, you can use the stairs. That's being more alert and keeping the body moving to help it maintain that healthy status. And that concludes my presentation or my speech on health. Thank you.